Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to this support video for submitting your Checkpoint 2 declaration using the Cambridge Technicals Progress Tracker. My name is Jane Harris and I'm a Customer Support Manager here at OCR. This short video will show you how to complete and submit your Checkpoint 2 declaration. This video is in support and in addition to Lauren's introduction to the Cambridge Technicals Progress Tracker where we introduce you to the tracker, the functionality available, and an insight into the filtering and download capabilities. More information and guidance is available on our website to support centres in using the progress tracker and to successfully complete the necessary checkpoint requirements. To access the Cambridge Technicals progress tracker, you will need to log in to our single sign-on service, My Cambridge. By clicking on the relevant tile, it will take you through to the progress tracker. The landing page shows you when the information was last updated and also when the next update will take place. Here you will also see the checkpoint to action required box. Now I'm using a test site here, but the dates that you will see on the live system will show as the 15th to the 23rd of June which is when the checkpoint two window is open. So to access the data, slightly scroll down and click on done. And this will allow you to access um, and view all candidates without any filters. Or you can use the multiple filters on the left hand side, should you wish. As you can see here, we've added another filter which will show your candidates who are certificating in August 2023. And this is the information that you supplied to us at checkpoint one. So you can filter by yes or no, and then click done. Now you can view your candidates in the results summary view, which confirms the overall qualification status, or you can switch to the results detailed view, which provides you with details of the units and the unit achievement status. Of course, you are able to select more filters in addition if you're required to do so, and you are able to download a CSV from both views and save them to your computer. As mentioned previously, this information is the information that your centre checked and supplied to us during checkpoint one. But if you find any information which is incorrect, please contact us as a matter of urgency and obviously before you submit the declaration. So once you have completed the necessary checks required for checkpoint two and you are happy that all of your data is accurate, then you're ready to complete the checkpoint two declaration. Please note that only users that are set up with the exams officer access role will be able to see, complete and submit the checkpoint two declaration. Now, this is the only difference between the exams officer role and the teacher role. Both are able to view and check the data, but only the exams officer access will be able to submit the declaration. So just a reminder that the window for checkpoint two submission is 15th to the 23rd of June. So when you're ready, you would click on complete declaration in the action required box. It will then show the declaration, which will apply to all Cambridge Technicals qualifications delivered within your centre. And you should only submit this when you can confirm that all of the points within this declaration have been met and this can be completed only once. So when you're ready, you should tick the agreement box and then press submit. You will see that the confirmation box um, shows that checkpoint two has been successfully submitted. Then you close the box by using the X or clicking on back to search results. 
Once the declaration has been submitted, a notification will be displayed for all users to show confirmation that Checkpoint 2 has been submitted. So both the exams officer and teacher roles will be able to see this. This will confirm who submitted the declaration and the date and time that it was completed. So you can continue to use the tracker as a view only reference tool, but once the Checkpoint 2 declaration has been submitted, you cannot resubmit. This progress tracker will continue to incorporate further future developments. So with this in mind, as always at OCR, we value your feedback. If you'd like to make any comments or suggestions about this progress tracker, then please do let us know. If you require any further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us via our customer support centre on 01223 553 998 or by emailing support at ocr.org.uk. Thank you for taking the time to watch this support video.